The body of the vessel's cook was recovered, while divers searched the hull of the Bayesian for passengers, including the tech entrepreneur Mike Lynch. Deep-sea divers with Italy's Firefighter Corps resumed their search on Tuesday for six missing passengers, including a British software mogul and his daughter, of a yacht that sank off the coast of Sicily the previous day. 22 people were on board the 180-foot British-flagged sailing yacht, the Bayesian, which was anchored near the port of Porticello, when it was hit by what witnesses described as a water spout, a small tornado on water, during a sudden and violent storm. The captain of a nearby sailing cruise ship rescued 15 people who managed to get to a raft. The body of the yacht's cook, identified by news outlets as Ricaldo Thomas, a Canadian Antiguan, was recovered on Monday. However, according to Salvatore Cocina, an official with Sicily's Civil Protection Agency, several people are still unaccounted for. Those still missing are Mike Lynch, a British technology entrepreneur, his daughter Hannah, Jonathan Bloomer, chairman of Morgan Stanley International, his wife, Judy Bloomer, Christopher J. Morvillo, a lawyer at Clifford Chance, and his wife, Nida Morvillo. Prosecutors in the Italian city of Termini Imerese, east of where the yacht sank, are opening a formal investigation into the yacht's sinking. The search for the missing passengers began on Monday. Still, it was suspended late that night as crews found themselves limited to the bridge deck and items like furnishings obstructing passage, the firefighters' corps wrote on social media. When divers resumed the search on Tuesday, ships trawled the waters near the site, the corps said in a statement. The Italian Coast Guard also said that search operations were continuing unabated with the deployment of helicopters. The Coast Guard said there was no evidence that gasoline was leaking from the yacht. Luca Carri, a spokesman for the Firefighters' Corps, said the yacht was lying on its right side in about 165 feet of water, meaning that divers, working in pairs, could stay underwater for only about 12 minutes at a time. Divers were seeking a safe point of access to the vessel's cabins. Obviously, everything fell and the space is very tight, Mr. Carri said adding that the divers were having to remove obstacles like furnishings and electrical wiring that were completely blocking passages. The firefighters corps said verifying whether people were inside the hull was impossible. Mr. Kari said that several divers had been part of the search and rescue operations when the Costa Concordia, a cruise liner, capsized off the Tuscan island of Giglio in 2012, killing 32 people it is considered one of the worst maritime disasters in modern Italian history. It's like the Costa Concordia, but much smaller, Mr. Cari said in a telephone interview, comparing the search operations. In the Costa Concordia, we came across many obstacles, but somehow overcame them. Here, the obstacles block the passages and have to be removed. He added, this makes it more difficult. Crews were also trying to raise the yacht, which experts will examine to determine why it sank. Until then, experts can only hypothesize what happened. Carsten Borner, the captain of a ship, the Sir Robert Baden Powell, which picked up the Bayesian's 15 survivors, said in an interview that when the wind picked up around 4 a.m. Monday, the Bayesian was about 490 feet behind his vessel. Once the wind wound down, he said, he could not see the yacht anymore. We got this very strong orkan gust, yeah. and we had to start the engine to keep the ship in the anchor position. And we watched the ship behind us, not to touch them. Yeah. And uh, we managed to keep the ship in position. And after the, the storm was over, we noticed that the ship behind us was gone.